Hello, everybody. My name is Brad Mason. I'm the Pioneer Field Agronomist in Western Illinois. I want to take a couple seconds and talk to you about one of the biggest questions I get every winter and spring, and that is, should I plant my corn crop or soybean crop first? The reason why that's such a big discussion is because we've heard so much over the last five to ten years about plant your soybeans early, they will reward you with more flowering time, more pod time, and ultimately more yield. However, every single year we start to ask ourselves, okay, when should I switch from planting beans early to corn? Because there is a time on that calendar where we need to focus up on corn. And so as we're here in the second week of April in Western Illinois, we're starting to ask ourselves that question. One of the first things I look at is just when I talk through the calendar. As I'm in the end of March, beginning of April, I start looking at that calendar and saying, okay, what's, what's this look like? How many days am I till that last frost? And historically, our last frost is that last week of April, first week of May. So as I start to do that math, figure out, okay, I'm 30, 35 days out. What does that crop realistically look like when I plant it in? And I start looking at that forecast. When I start looking at that 10-day forecast and I start seeing 70, maybe even 80 degree days, I start thinking, wow, that's a lot of growing degree units or GDUs that crop is going to accumulate. So therefore, when we look at our corn and soybean crop, we typically figure in anywhere from 100 to 140 GDUs for that crop to get emerged. And when I start doing that math, a lot of times when we have these warmer springs in early April, we put ourselves at a little bit of a frost risk on soybeans because when we look at that, we should be getting enough growing degree units to get that soybean crop up by the last half of April. When we have that up, we get that frost, we could be in a situation where we might need to replant that first week of May if we happen to get that frost. That's obviously a risk versus a reward situation where if we don't get that frost, all of a sudden those beans are one to two leaf stages ahead and we start flowering a little bit earlier. So it's a risk versus reward situation there to watch. With corn, I always say there is a point in time on that calendar we need to focus up on corn, and that typically is somewhere between April 15th and April 20th here in Western Illinois. As we start to get to that almost last week of April, historically, that's when we've seen some of our highest and best yielding and most consistent yield. The reason we've seen that is because of a multitude of factors, but one of the things is as we get towards that end of April, we typically see more consistent temperatures from um, from our forecast. We see a lot of 70s, hopefully up in the 80s. We get warmer rains when we do get rain events that help our corn crop get out of the ground a little bit faster. So I'm always watching that and weighing that, but there are certain sit situations I've seen in the last couple of years where we're in that first half of April and we're seeing a long stretch of 70s, even some 80s before, where I'm telling folks, hey, it's not time to plant beans, it's time to plant corn. This looks like a corn forecast. So it's very tough to balance that, and I know that's the, the easy answer is it depends, but you really need to sit down, start thinking about the fields that you're going to plant first, which ones are fit first, and really look at that forecast to decide which crop am I going to put forward with the best foot for that growing season. I want to thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you all have a safe spring. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.